The Shirk Ranch was originally homesteaded in 1881, and the Shirk family operated the ranch from 1883 to 1914 as a horse ranch. Upstairs, Shirk is said to have had a billiard room for his ranch hands to give them something to do for those long cold winters. The ranch became part of the Hart Mountain Wildlife Refuge in 1942, and it was leased to various interests throughout the 1980s, but it's been vacant since then. It's now controlled by the Bureau of Land Management. We found what appeared to be the junkyard. Lots of cool finds here, a few old vehicles. And this really cool homemade tractor made from supplies that they probably had laying around the ranch. There's a grave marker on the property that reads, Here lies Bill Vickers and Jay Grunecki, shot August 14, 1887. After a good hand washing, we enjoyed a little lunch here on the property. Then we set out to explore some of the BLM roads in the area. When you come across a gate like this on public lands, you're supposed to leave it as you found it. Uh, they make them very difficult to operate, though. <laughs> You got it. I let Trey have the honor.
And here we saw our first pronghorn antelope. We came across another abandoned homestead, and I'm not sure the name on this one, but it was really interesting, and it looked like it had been used a little more recently than Shirk Ranch. That was a long day of exploring. We finally found a campsite. It's really windy, so we had to reposition the Jeep. And we're hanging out. They have this little pavilion here. I'll turn it around so you can see. We're hanging out in here, having a glass of wine out of the wind for a few minutes. I'll show you the view. I don't know what time it is. 11. <laughs> it's 11 p.m. and we had to take the tent down and climb into the cab because it's so windy we thought the tent was gonna break or something bad was gonna happen. <laughs> so we're probably not getting any sleep tonight and I tried to get video of us taking the tent down but it, it's just like a hurricane out there. It's not working. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Sleeping upright. <laughs> In the cab of the Comanche. Well, why just end up driving and taking a nap during the day if it calms down? Yeah, so <laughs> hopefully it does eventually stop. We'll check back in. <laughs> this was my attempt at recording the takedown. Well, that was a fun night. <laughs> We're alive. <laughs> Switch seats halfway through the night just to mix it up a little bit, which is still super windy. I uh, don't know what the plan is. Uh, I think we'd like to find a spot where it's not windy so we can sleep a little bit. Um, definitely the downfall of a rooftop tent. Is the wind is brutal. And the regular cab truck's not a great backup. Yeah, this isn't the most comfortable upright it's position. Like Spirit Airlines. <laughs> so we don't know what the plan is yet, but we'll check back in when we figure it out.
the rest of the trip is going to be dirt roads mostly, so um, that'll make it a lot nicer for driving around. But check out this view. Anyway, we'll show you what we see. Things just feel heavy tonight. I'm tasting no tears. I'm fighting no fears. Still there's a hole in my heart Not on my own But I feel it sometimes Wondering what should I do For reasons unknown I don't need to decide It's true that I don't It was incredible to see all this rock art by the northern Paiute people who moved through the area in spring and summer to gather plants and hunt. The wind came back. We found a spot tucked just out of the wind at Hot Springs Campground. A soak in this primitive hot spring was just what we needed. And this is the more developed hot spring. It has a rock wall for wind protection. Continued, but after some lunch and a nice soak, we did enjoy a nap. After our nap, we went for a walk on a trail just outside of the campground and found this old corral.
next morning, we got up just as the sun was beginning to rise and headed to our favorite soaking pool. We relaxed in the warm water and watched the sun come up over the mountain. Soon it was time to head to our next destination, so we packed up camp, getting ready to hit the road. We made a stop at the visitor center to replenish our water supply. Here's where we came from. And here's where we're headed. Before we left Heart Mountain, I wanted to check out a spot that I noticed on my Gaia GPS. There was a possibility of finding more petroglyphs in this area. The trail was sometimes hard to decipher, but we followed what we thought was a trail towards a group of large rock outcroppings. Once we reached the rocks, we started looking for signs of petroglyphs. Eventually, we started to see signs of some faint markings. and it looked like there was a spring, so we headed that direction to check it out. And of course we had to climb up to the top and check out the view. speck off in the distance, that's the Jeep. As we made our way out of the Heart Mountain Antelope Refuge, we had one more surprise. Another pronghorn antelope. 